All right, I am going to go over a few problems from the homework from Thursday night. Um, we had a few issues with the problems that had a zero as one of the intercepts. Let me find it. Number 57. And then 59 was all right so these graphs are in intercept form I did see a few people multiplying them out and doing them in standard form which isn't wrong but you're working too hard for number 57 my intercepts are when negative x is equal to 0 and when x plus 6 is equal to 0. That makes my intercepts 0 and negative 6. So 0 and negative 6, which means my vertex is halfway between those two points. 0 plus 6 divided by 2, sorry, minus 6, plus negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. There's too much talking going on, guys. So my axis of symmetry is at negative 3, and I'm going to plug that in. Negative, negative 3, times negative 3 plus 6. Okay. And that gives us 3 times 3, which is 9. And so it's up here. And there's our parabola. Yeah. This was on the homework Thursday. Thursday's homework. Yeah, no. So now what are my zeros? What are my zeros for y equals negative 4x times x minus or plus 7? Zero and negative 7. Okay. So my intercepts are at zero and negative 7. And halfway is where? Negative 3 and a half. Because 0 plus negative 7 divided by 2 is negative 3.5, right? So you can write it as negative 7 halves or negative 3.5, whichever is easiest for you. But I got to plug it in. y equals negative 4 times negative 3.5 times um, negative... 3.5 plus 7, okay? Let me show you how this is easier with fractions. Guys, pay attention. Negative 4 times negative 7 halves. Negative 7 halves plus 7, okay? Negative 7 halves plus 7, that's 14 over 2. Is 7 also 14 divided by 2? Yes. So negative 7 halves... Plus 14 halves is positive 7 halves. Okay, so I get 4 times negative 49 over 4. The 4s cancel, and we get negative 49. And I had lots of people actually calculate that correctly, and they're like, whoa, this is really big. I'm not sure that this is correct. And it is, because your intercepts are pretty far away from each other, 7 right? There's seven units away from each other. And your coefficient is a. So, or I mean, your coefficient a is a negative four. That's a really big coefficient. So it's multiplying everything by four, which is why it's so much bigger. And so we're going to change this to here and just say that's 49 and ignore the rest of the numbers. 
because I don't expect you to label your graph all the way to 49 by 1, right? So you can count by tens and then estimate it just under 50, or you can just put 49 somewhere down or up on your axis, and then um, that's, right? Um, this is actually a positive 49, because it's a negative times a negative, and it should open down, okay? So I wanted to show that one to you because I had a lot of people getting the right information but not graphing it because they thought it was just wrong because it seemed so big. But when we have an A that is large like that, it's not uncommon. Okay. Now, the last one was our assignment in um, intercept form, but my intercepts are the same. So I don't actually have two intercepts to find halfway between. So my x-intercept is 3 comma 0, but it's also my vertex. So I have to treat this more like vertex form, and we have to make a table because my two intercepts are the same. So we're going to make a table and put 3, 0 in the middle. And then I got 2 and 1, 4 and 5. So plug in 2. Negative 2 times 2 minus 3 squared. Negative 2 times negative 1 squared. Remember, we have to do what's inside the parentheses. Then square it, which is negative 2, because that's positive 1 times negative 2. And then the 4, because I have symmetry, and my vertex is correct. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, I can use that. Now, I saw some people's graphs. I'll talk about that in a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. Negative 2 times negative 2 squared. Negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8. Okay. And so this graph. Is at 3, 0. And 0, or 2 negative 2, 4 negative 2, and then 1 negative 8, and 5 negative 8. And my vertex is actually on the axis, so I only have one x-intercept. Now I saw some people whose graphs looked like this. They'd have this. And they're like, mm, I'm not so sure, but this is a very weird parabola. Okay. The reason you're having this problem is because your vertex is the wrong sign. Your vertex actually belongs over here, and then it would go up correctly. So you're putting symmetry around a point that's not symmetrical. And that's why you're getting that funky parabola where it actually goes in instead of coming out because you don't have the correct vertex. So when you see this in your points and you graph that, that's an indication that you need to check the sign on your vertex.